Hello everybody and welcome back to G4G Games for Gamers. I'm your host, Napalm Dawn, and today we are here in Marvel Avengers Alliance to talk about two bugs that I've noticed recently. I've decided I'm going to go ahead and package up this video and link play on when I open up a ticket to them as I kind of think one of them is really serious and really annoying and the other one is well, I'm going to leave that up to you guys, and, and you get to decide on that. So before I get into the meat of these two bugs, quote-unquote, features, I just want to show you guys that uh, entering the last few days here, the tournament, and this would have been one of the absolute last days prior to the extension, I've got my highest rating ever sitting in the low 1800s. I must say that once I crested the 1700 area, fights were getting... Um, pretty solid, if not a little routine, with Cull and Nerth. Cull Nerth. <laughs> Null and Kurth team Cull hanging everywhere on defense. But hey, at least I got rid of the overabundance of Red Hulk and Pesty Beast. So, today's background music is brought to you by 8 uh, Bit Music over on YouTube. And of course, a link will be at the bottom of the description, as always. So one of the things that I wanted to talk about, and this is probably the easier one to discuss, is that I feel that the big and fast ISO, the one for bruisers, is horribly broken. And I want to go ahead and show you, of course, the one that I'm uh, talking about here. You can find it under Class Restricted. And it's this one, Vengeful Empowered ISO 8. Chance to gain an extra turn when hit while protecting. Now, obviously, if you take it as the straight letter of the law, that means when a bruiser jumps in and tanks, that bruiser has a chance to gain an extra turn. And of course, that is phenomenal Like people for people like Wonder Man, Groot is one of the all-time best users of it. Uh, Captain America in the World War II suit. Any of the bruisers who have either permanent tanking, like uh, Modern Colossus at the beginning, Thing, um, Groot, all of those guys. And it has, of course, slightly less success with the quote-unquote turn-on tanks, like Molly. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to talk about Molly and that particular ISO. My Molly right now has Defensive Fighter and Skull Thumper. The reason why I have Defensive Fighter is because I didn't like Big and Fast. I found that it was not really proccing a whole lot. And I do now have her ISO from the uh, Heroic, however... I'm not going to use it because thanks to uh, Heroic Age Iron Fist immune to debuffs, Molly does not go to sleep after her tantrum. If you stop her tantrum, similar to Havoc's uh, no longer kicks like a mule, she stays awake. She cannot immediately taunt and then start the process again, but she will stay awake. Nice little side effect. So w what is my issue with the big and fast ISO. Well, my issue is that in the hands of Molly, it is particularly wicked and really dangerous, and it shows that the ISO is broken. Now, what happens is, and this really happens mostly in Invisible Woman Molly groups, is that she will proc a turn no matter what she gets hit with. We've all known for some time, if you target a protector with a single target attack, their ice, that ISO has a chance to fire off and give an extra turn. Okay, you could argue that is not, at least the semantics, that is not the letter, that is not the spirit of the ISO over there. They're not technically protecting, so why are they getting the free turn? Well, in certain cases, like Groot and all of that, Wonder Man, you know he was going to protect anyway, unless he was cornered. So the game just probably gives it to the bruiser. 
My issue is that Molly is routinely getting her big and fast proc off of catastrophic AoE attacks that do not get protected against, at least not by Molly. Groot will jump in on AoE, provided it's not special like stealthy or psychic or whatnot, but Molly doesn't have that provision. This has come up now three times in the last week or so when I've done PvP and I've lost twice and won once. The first loss was probably the biggest pile of crap out of them. So okay, my molly goes before the enemy molly in turn order and it is an invisible woman group. So I said okay, I don't need to spend the turn shield breaking my Molly's going to get her tantrum before the enemy Molly, and that will be the end of combat. So, you know, I prep up in the first round. I use the weather controls. Um, heal, just in case. Uh, if any damage was out, Heroic Age Iron Fist puts out the immunity to debuffs. Molly does a raspberry. The enemy team does their stuff. It's now round two. My Molly goes ahead and goes into Tantrum and throws the first van to break shields on the enemy side. Typically I will van an invisible woman group twice. Once to break the shields, once to create the debuffs. Well on the first or second van, all of a sudden I could tell my game did not have me in control anymore. I was like, what the hell happened? All of a sudden, I see Molly on the other side casting Tantrum. I'm like, what the hell is going on here? She went into a Tantrum. I just sat there like, I, I don't know what I'm watching. How did she do this? this? She didn't protect on anything, and she wasn't hit by a single target. So, okay, Molly goes through her Tantrum, blah, 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 thanks to Hafe. I'm not really taking super amounts of damage because she's not getting set up and she's not exploiting anything because I don't have anything. Okay, I live. We're at death's door, but all three of my heroes are alive. My two heroes and my agent are alive. And, you know, they're not too far from dying, but they're okay. I'm like, all right, well, don't worry about it now. My Molly's going to go ahead and finish this off with her own tantrum. Nope. I throw one single punch at the enemy Molly to remove what I considered to be the biggest threat. She gets another big and fast proc and resumes the existing tantrum. So she ran out of stamina. She rested. I punched her. Her turn came up again and she went back into a second tantrum. Literally, it was like you were watching... Rage Mode, the story of Molly Hayes, paused it to go into the kitchen for some popcorn and came back out and unpaused it. That's exactly what happened. I lost. The next time that this happened, again, I threw the van. Molly proc big and fast. It was a weaker team. I, I won easily because she didn't do enough damage with the van. The second time, the third time that this happened, Again, I throw the van, Molly procs big and fast, she goes into her tantrum, she's wailing on my team, I get up to go downstairs, make dinner, take a leak, go find a wife, have kids, raise at the college age, and start looking for my retirement home in Southern Florida, and I come back, and of course, it says you've lost the match. So, um... Excuse the fire truck going by, it's main road over here. Um, so that particular Molly, even though Hafe had given out his immunities, was able to do enough damage to wipe out my team. So I am now one for three in the scenario of this bug. I can understand single targeting a protector and having big and fast proc. I do not agree that a catastrophic... AoE attack should be able to create the big and fast scenario. There is obviously not any protection going on whatsoever, so why is that ISO allowed to fire off? 
my... Ah, oh, Final Fantasy, I recognize this. This is the opera scene. Um, the next portion in which I have an issue is this item here called the Hexenjäger. And it also, oh, I have to do an attack, I lost them. It also applies to Null. There are two ways in which people are using Null currently. Magic Null, Magic Mike Null, and Melee Null. For Melee Null, people are tending to run Quick Null groups, and that is a group, oh, so alright, here is a Magic Null group. Spiral and Null has something I've seen a few times on defense. It can get hairy. It really can. Um, but fortunately they use the Worm Zephyr first. Let's see if he has the Mystic. If he doesn't, yes, he does have the Mystic. So this is going to be a slow start. Um, for the melee Null groups, they tend to be quick Nulls. Quick Lock and Null, and Null is running the ISO that says if you do a melee attack on your side of the fence, uh, he has a chance to gain an extra turn. The problem with that is the game thinks that any attempt to do melee counts as a chance for Null to gain a turn. Even if the attack is countered, or preempted in some way, shape, or form, what happens is Null goes, you know what? It's the thought that counts. You didn't have to do it, but the fact that you attempted to is good enough for me. Prime example, you can see I'm running Heroic Age Iron Fist over here. Hafe eats up Quicksilver. Every time he tries to do anything like gain... Uh, an extra turn, or counter, or do anything of the sort, um, Hafe or Iron Fist will jump in and attempt to stop him. If he attempts to do a counter, and Hafe stops him along the way, Null considers it an actual melee attack. And he can, and will, and I've seen it happen, gain his extra turn. If he happens to be exhausted, he still gets his case of the... Oh, that's perfect. He still gets his case of the squats and is constipated. You'll see him squat and he won't go anywhere because he's exhausted. So he has no ability to gain that extra turn. But he attempts it. So I've seen this happen and you're like, okay, the game has a rule that it's the thought that counts for the action. If melee was attempted, Null is good enough, and he works off of it. The only thing is that is not true with the Hexenjäger. The Hexenjäger says that if you hit somebody with it, what it does is it gives them a debuff called the Hot Seat. The Hot Seat says if you attempt to do a magic action, you will get inflicted with soul fire and you will take a sizable chunk of damage. When my Hexenjäger procs, it does 3k of damage. I routinely like to hit Kurth with this because she uses magic. I will also hit the agents who run the signpost. When I hit Kurth and it affects her Road of Ruin, which we will point out over here is magic if she is pre-countered Hexenjäger does not fire off so now here is a difference in coding in the game if Null detects a melee action even if it is cancelled before it happens he has a chance to gain his extra turn however if Road to Ruin which is ranged in magic is attempted to be cast but stopped for example, through Heroic Age Iron Fist going, no, you're not going to counter, the game will not give Kurth Soul Fire and Hot Seat will not proc. So why is the difference happening here? Why is Null allowed to gain something off of an attempt, but Kurth is not? And honestly, and I'm not going to say that this is the case, but if you're a conspiracy theorist type person, you would say, well... Kurth and Null are the darlings of the PvP set right now, 
it seems to work out in their favor in both circumstances. Null gains a positive, Kurth avoids a negative. Well, I don't know, but I think Playdom needs to unify their code there and say either you have to fully execute the action for things to happen, or in all cases, the attempt is what matters. And that's, that's what needs to happen, because right now, it's not being applied universally. So there's the two bugs that I've noticed right now. Big and fast proccing off of AoE attacks, which I believe it shouldn't be, and a split decision making in the code when it comes to attempting to do something, and whether or not you suffer positive negative consequences from the attempt. So there you go, uh, just a quick little video. I obviously think the Molly one is far more widespread than this Hex and Jaeger thing, but it does reveal some issues with the code. By the way, if you do have the Hex and Jaeger, the cower on this thing works phenomenally well. I routinely hit enemy agents and they skip a turn due to the cower, which is really nice to do that back to a Cull and Nerf team, a uh, Cull and Nerf. <sighs> Null and Kurth team and um, put Cower back in their own face. Plus, you know, Hot Seat, when it actually fires, does sizable damage. And it is range, so, you know, Hoogan's Eye agents are still going to take a little bit of damage there. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Discuss the bugs. I will link this to Playdom in a support ticket. And we'll see what the response is. Thanks a lot, everybody, and take care.